Hey there, this is uh, chapter eight of Successful Affiliate Marketing for Merchants. This one is creating your affiliate agreement. And this is a pretty quick and easy one, it's pretty basic. I um, just wanna go over some of the key elements that should be in your affiliate agreement. And if you're with an affiliate network, oftentimes they have a boilerplate agreement, so it's, uh, a lot of these things will be covered to begin with. But um, basically, it comes down to two different types of issues, legal and monetary, that you're gonna cover in your affiliate agreement. And it's really inevitably just a, just sort of a, um, a partnership agreement, just to, the basis of your relationship with the affiliates. So it's, um, I'll just give you a, a handful of different issues that you should be covering in those agreements. Um, your commission amount and frequency, just um, how much you're gonna pay the affiliates and when you're gonna pay it. Um, any trademark regulations you have, whether or not the affiliates can bid in the, the various search engines or if they can use your name in title tags and that sort of thing. Um, if you have any rules of where you want the links to be displayed, if it's okay if they use them in email or search engines or whether or not you want to have any regulations there. Um, if you permit adware in the promotion of your affiliate program, as well as if the affiliates can use solo email, and if so, what the guidelines are there, how they can get suppression list to follow can spam. If they can use your name in a press release or uh, what your rule is there, generally an affiliate program will permit somebody to issue a press release about a partnership, but, but sometimes they'll let you, um, you'll, sometimes you'll let the affiliate write a press release and, and they can release it if they get your permission. Then um, the tracking reporting, just a reference to which network or what kind of technology you're using to to run the affiliate program, what the grounds are for termination, and the, the timeline and all that sort of thing. And then um, how you're gonna treat confidential or proprietary information if you're gonna forbid an affiliate from talking about what kind of money they're making or anything about your affiliate program. And also, sort of in tandem with the terms of your affiliate program, I would suggest that you write a, an FAQ that's sort of a, an accurate, sort of um, basic version of your agreement all in English, English terms so it's easy to digest a lot of affiliates don't really want to read the legalese of your agreement, so make the FAQ sort of like the, the common English version of your agreement, and that'll make it a lot more likely that your affiliates are going to actually read that information. So, um, so that's that's my advice there. And um, there you go. Take care.